Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this time I wanna I wanna show you the new progressive AR menu. Uh, as you might know, it's been a little hard to configure the progressive because the way the menu is is designed. So I tried to simplify it and make it more like the polar menu. So in the in in the uh, version fifteen, uh, I tried to just mimic the uh, the polar. Of course, you know there has some some more value so there is a little more to it not just exactly like polar but very very similar all right so let me show you how this new menu uh, works um, and let me know how you think i mean wh wh what you think all right all right so here we had the uh the just the standard uh you know uh, attacker script so if you go select Ash, for example, then uh, we enter into the, the menu selection. So you, you do ADS and then select the view or the option, and then you see this initial menu. So if you scroll to the uh, right, you will find the anti recall menu. Then you select it, and now you can see the very familiar menu. But we have more options this time. So we have AR star which is uh, the configuration for the star or the vertical and horizontal on one single menu. And then you press the uh, swap button, then you will see the ARN, which is, you know, the same thing, uh, the end values for vertical and horizontal in the same menu. And then you press one more, the swap, then you're going to see the vertical time. And then the last one will be the horizontal time. All right, so let me explain uh, each section. So here you can see that you have the, the values for the starting or your anti-recoil. Uh, the way progressive works is that you have different values for vertical starting and end values. So you had two different values for vertical, and then you had two different values for horizontal. So here you're going to set out the vertical and horizontal for the start of the, uh, of the AR. So the way you do that, basically just like polar. So you you press up when you want to compensate. Uh, you see that your gun is going down. So you compensate by going up. If your gun is moving to the right, then you compensate by by uh, uh, adding more to the left. But you can see now that here you are uh, changing uh, by increments of 10. And just like the polar, when you press the ADS, now you you're gonna be changing by increments of five, I mean of one, uh, instead of 10. So same thing for horizontal. So now you can see it's changing by increments of, of uh, one. So what you can see the, you know, your gun correctly done, uh, usually most guns, you know, you have the same values for uh, a star and N, but the ability for progressive is that is that it give you uh, the ability to deal with those weird guns that start going right, for example, and then on the middle of the shooting, then it switches the recoil and it start going left. So that's where the progressive is very good at. So you set up the initial time, I mean the initial values for a start, and then when you switch to the end, then you adjust. For example, you can see that your gun is, is, is now correctly, but towards the end, it start pulling to the right. So on the AR value, then you will compensate a little more in going to the left. All right. And that's pretty much the way it should, it should work. And then we had the vertical time. So what, what, what is that? So uh, the vertical time is the time is going to wait before it switches switches its values from a start and start applying the values from the end. So like I explained before, you have a start values for vertical and horizontal. So the vertical time is the time is going to wait before it switches between the vertical star and the vertical end. And usually, you know, the way uh, Rainbow works, most of the cases, not all the cases, you need to you know, adjust it according to whatever gun you're dealing with. But most of the cases, the time gets adjusted based on the bullets, right? For example, if you had 30, uh, 30 bullets on your gun, you, you just have to divide that by two. So 
uh, 30, 30 uh, divided by two, then it gives you 15. So the, that translate to, to the time you had to put on. So then you will, you will add 1500. So you can see now, uh, let's see, sorry. Now we set up, for example, suppose my gun has 30 bullets, then you, you set out the uh, vertical time to be 1500. And usually most of, most of the times, then the horizontal, it will be the same. So then we set it to uh, 1500 as well. All right, and that's it. Once you had selected your values, then you can just press the uh, select button and it's gonna, ch it's gonna ask you if you wanna save your AR values. And you just say yes, and then your, your values now are, are, are saved from this point on. Uh, so if we were to go back to the anti recoil, now you can see that the values are all kept, all right? So another, another little trick here. Uh, so you have the AR star and then you press the swap button and then it goes, goes uh, to the next menu. But you press the ADS and press the swap button, then it's gonna move to the previous menu. So it's just a little way to navigate back and forth. So you don't have to go all the way around to get into the star. Suppose you wanna start and by mistake you move on. So instead of you going all the way until uh, you reach the start again, you can just move move forward and then move backwards, uh, pressing the ADS. Uh, and that's pretty much it though. That's the that's new menu. Everything else is just like uh, we discussed previously on the progressive. Uh, so that's it guys. See, you have any, any questions, just uh, let me know. And uh, I hope you, you like this new menu for progressive. All right, bye guys.